A very warm namaste to everyone. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. How at the very fundamental level Ayurvedic science is different from uh, the modern science at the very basic level. So we have to understand that Ayurveda is a science of adjectives, qualities or uh, what we call in Sanskrit as gunas. So guna is nothing but different kind of qualities. That's how we understand uh, the body, the mind, the environment around us. Everything in Ayurveda is explained in terms of these gunas. What are these? Like hot and cold, light and heavy, you know, gross and subtle, dry and oily, hard and soft. So all these are uh, qualities on the basis of which we explain the body, the mind, the disease, the diet and so on and so forth everything comes under the umbrella of these gunas whereas modern science is basically a science of nouns everything is explained in terms of numbers whereas in ayurveda uh, it's very rare or little instances where numbers are used so what are the examples let's say if we talk of diet so the modern science will talk about diet in terms of number of calories or uh, the number of uh, you know the quantity of vitamins in food or, or, the, or the minerals so that's how uh, the science looks at it Ayurveda in terms of uh, diet looks at things like whether the uh, whether the food is light or heavy whether it is dry or oiling whether it is nourishing or unnourishing so there's there's all these adjectives involved there's no talk of uh, numbers similarly if we talk of weight weight gain or weight loss treatments. When the patients come to us uh, for weight loss, we don't uh, really deal into numbers, but uh, we uh, talk in terms of a feeling of lightness in the body, overall uh, holistic lightness, more active, more agility in the body after the treatments. And of course, there will be a loss in numbers as well, but the modern science focuses uh, more precisely on uh, the number of pounds that are lost. Similarly, when we talk of, uh, you know, let's say water, the modern science will talk about how many of liters of water to be drunk in a day. Whereas Ayurveda, uh, there's no mention of how many liters of water. It has to be, you have to follow your thirst, the dryness, and the body type so the more uh, the wind dominated body type will need to drink uh, more water because it will be a dry body type and they'll dry up quickly whereas a uh, body type which is already dominated with water a kapha body type will need to depend less on water so it's not like one for all each one is different and each one has different qualities or gunas so we follow that similarly the sleep again modern science will talk in terms of number of hours of sleep needed whereas ayurveda again will uh, focus more on the quality of sleep and uh, which body type needs uh, how much sleep for example the wind body type will need more uh, hours of sleep because they are uh, they're lighter they are uh, more uh, more uh, towards the degenerating side so they need more hours of sleep uh, for regenerating and uh, regeneration so that's how we understand uh, sleep similarly if we talk in terms of exercise uh, modern science again just like diet will focus on number of calories uh, lost during the exercise the number of hours one should exercise beats per minute is important and then you have to stop so again it deals more in numbers Ayurveda on the other hand will um, require you to exercise up to half of your strength which is when you begin to pant or mouth breathe or when the whole body is uh, drenched in sweat these are some of the signs when you uh, stop exercising so uh, these are a few examples which uh, tell us that uh, ayurveda deals in qualities and modern science deals more in numbers so uh, to understand ayurveda one must first understand uh, these gunas or qualities around us try to observe these qualities outside and uh, within then uh, we uh, try to assess which qualities are lacking and which qualities are needed to be added. So we try to understand the gunas or qualities. These qualities are everywhere, outside, inside. So each food has its own quality. Unlike, uh, you know, just counting the calories. So you look at the qualities, whether a food is heating or cooling, nourishing or unnourishing, you know, uh, whether it is oily or drying whether it is light or heavy. If we look at exercise, each exercise is different. Going for just for a nature walk 
or a hike in the forest will be a cooling activity no matter how many calories you lose but it's considered a cooling activity unlike uh, you know run in the sun will be hot activity similarly swimming swimming will be a cooling activity also depends on whether it's in a uh, cold water or uh, warm water or hot water so the water will impart uh, a cooling nature to the swimming activity so uh, really if one is suffering from more from uh, increase of qualities of heat and then he will be advised the cooling foods cooling uh, exercises and uh, if one is more on the colder side then heating activities heating exercises heating foods even uh, the place or the city or the environment where you live will have uh, could have a drying or an oily quality based on whether it's a dry place or a humid place similarly talking of sleep unlike modern science which talks of uh, specific numbers of hours to be slept uh, in ayurveda it's important to have the right quality of sleep and at the right time only if you sleep at the right time then uh, you'll wake up fresh otherwise uh, even if you complete the number of hours you will not wake up fresh so the first few hours of sleep which is known as the kapha time let's say from uh, uh, 6 pm to 10 pm uh, if if someone uh, manages to catch some sleep during these hours then it will be a kapha very grounded very heavy deep sleep a deeper quality a midnight sleep uh, let's say from uh, 10 uh, pm to 2 am will be a pitta sleep more of a medium quality medium nature medium heavy medium deep and uh, early morning will be a lighter sleep when the wind comes uh, and uh, it's more like uh, the nature wants us to wake up now so those hours of sleep will have a lighter quality so if you're sleeping more during those hours of uh, the day let's say you sleep at 2 a.m and up to 7 or 8 uh, a.m even though you got those six hours but you slept during the during the lighter hours which will the, will give you a very light or restless kind of a sleep so again delving into more qualities so that was it for today and uh, do follow us to get more such information about this wonderful ancient science thank you